Clarence Town. This is Little Marina. We're gonna just have a look around town. Get some fuel, get some water, you know, all those boating chores. So Cole, you're gonna go out and find somebody and ask them where we can get fuel, okay? Diesel, right? You know that. You can just toss it back down, mama hold it. Perfect. It's gonna take a while. Yeah. Clarence Town was hit hard by Hurricane Joaquin. It's a sad story. Many of the people lost their homes or businesses and consequently have left the town to find work in the larger Bahamian cities. The marina is going through a rebuild though and is becoming a beautiful spot to stop and stay. During the hurricane, human garbage that litters the ocean, mostly plastic, was washed up on their shores. In our sailing, we've seen a few beaches looking the same. Many water bottles can be found amongst this garbage. Please do your best to try and recycle your used water bottles. Lots of plastic and garbage washed up. Nasty. Or try and use refillable bottles. Thanks. Water bottle, water bottle, water bottle, water bottle, water bottle, water bottle. Lots of water bottles. It's pretty sad. Bad. We always try to bring our own water bottles so we don't have to contribute to that. It's all plastic. Save the planet, people. Don't use water bottles. Bottled water, I should say. Bring your own. These containers would have brought supplies after the hurricane. Here we are in Clarence Town on Long Island. Not a lot going on in Clarence Town. Not a lot going on in Clarence Town. Somebody's building up there. Let's walk up to the church. Although Clarence Town sustained a lot of damage from Hurricane Joaquin, it's still a quaint and quiet little community with two beautiful churches perched up on the hills overlooking the sea. Clarence Town is worth a stop. A walk up the hill to see these old churches and the views they offer it's beautiful. is worth the effort. Pretty neat church, eh? <laughs> so this is our Crooked Islands passage. We left at 11 p.m. last night. Last night. It's now 4:40, 20 to 5 in the morning. Here's the chart. We started up here at Clarence Town, and we're going along this magenta line here. Oh, sorry. Well, let's put that in there, I guess. And then we're coming all the way down here to Acklands. This is Acklands Island and Crooked Island. And our goal is their French Wells for now. And then the next day we'll come down this way and that'll be our longest one. This will take us all the way to Turks and Caicos. This is about 10 to 11 hours from here down to here. It's a very remote island. It's really, really lumpy. Everything is back and forth and up and down. Whoa, back and forth and up and down. We have confused seas and I'm wobb wobbling all over the place. It's just not a lot of fun. I know why they call it. Whoa, whoa, what was that? The thorny path. Good morning, it's Tuesday, December 9th, and we left Clarence Town Harbor last night at 11 p.m. in the dark, which is kind of creepy. And now we are coming into Crooked Island, and it's pretty shallow here. What's the depth, Brad? Four feet. Four feet in here. 
So we're trying to make it in back in there. So it's supposed to be beautiful, but it'll be tricky. So we'll see, but it's sure gorgeous in here. It's about 8.30 in the morning right now. Does it say to go in this way already? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, right here is pretty shallow looking. It's very light right there. Yeah, you can start making the turn. It's getting darker. Not too much though. Right? Keep going straight a bit more. It gets nice and dark up here. Yeah, I think I think we're in now, right? I think we're in now. Yeah, I should be nice and deep now. I'm going to the back, Cole. Yeah. And it says rocks a wash and there's a shoal there, so we're probably ruins and a cast and castorina trees, which said castorina trees. Oh, look at that one's ripped right out of the ground. Wow. They're all ripped out of the ground. Cole, look at those trees, they're ripped right out of the ground from the hurricane. Go too close to that side because it's but straight up the middle here, basically straight ahead is the anchorage. <laughs> Which is, oh, I guess. Yeah. Not far off of over there, right? This is Crooked Island. And you can see the devastation from Hurricane Joaquin. Trees uprooted right out of their roots. Everything on the shoreline is just burnt from the salt water spray. Some of the stuff inland looks a little bit greener, but wow, took a beating. What do you think of this place, Captain? Wow, the water's insanely gorgeous. I bet the life underneath is pretty spectacular because we're in the middle of nowhere. The guidebook with the chart says that nobody ever comes here, and if you do, you're rewarded. Lots of fish and conch and shelling and just beautifulness. It's a little different than what I expected. Yeah, me too. Once the anchor is down, we always dive just to make sure it's set well, especially in anchorages. That's a lot of current. Yeah, a lot. Where strong currents are present. In this anchorage of French Wells, Acklands Island, the current was running close to four knots. Dragging anchor becomes a real possibility if your anchor is not firmly and safely set. Wow, that's beautiful. They eat the coral. Oh, There's really? Like tons of dead coral down there. Flip. Let's see the other side. They had a big chunk of coral. Ooh, gorgeous. You know. Yeah, it sure is. Pretty spiky. Doing okay? Yeah, man. Hang in there. A little rough for this spot. Yeah. Yeah. Where'd you come out of? Up north? Yeah, from up on Cool. We love your area. Yeah, thank you. It's beautiful here. We're happy to be here. Yeah, the hurricane's up to 35. I know. Five. I know. Yeah, it looks rough. It you looks can rough. see. Yeah. How about your home? Is it okay? No, man. Mashed up. That's tough. Yeah. Yeah, the hurricane's up to move all the home. We've been listening to the radio and seeing how the government's talking. It's supposed to be helping you out, but... That's what they said on the radio. Yeah. Yeah. Too slow. Yeah. What kind of fishing are you guys doing? Yum. Where do you fish for those? You can catch them right here in the channel, right here where you anchored. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. That's Good. nice talking to you. Thanks for stopping. Yeah. You'll probably see if you guys are out. All yeah. right. That's a nice boat. That it is. is. Sweet. You hear what he said, Cole? Yes. We're catching snapper right here. We're catching some bottom fish. Bottom fishing. Yeah. Looks like a fire. But it's just dead from salt spray. Sea surge. Shows you how strong the mangroves are though. Look at all these roots are still intact. And over there too. Didn't rip them out at all. And they're slowly coming back. Not here, but yeah. maybe a little bit there. Stone. Wow, that's the Bahamas right there, isn't it? The colors. Oh. Say hi to your friends at home, Cole. Hi guys. <laughs> Crooked Island and 
Macklin's Island. Talk about remote. Ah, oh, the sand is insane! Wow. You know what that is? That's the lighthouse. One big swimming pool. Nicer than a swimming pool. It's nicer than a swimming pool, you're right. <laughs> it's clearer, glory. Dollars in a cup, no kids cup, peeing yeah. in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> What a beautiful sunset as we leave the Acklands group. Sailing into the night. We'll arrive at our anchorage around 10, 11 p.m. And then tomorrow morning we do an overnight cross, 24 hours to Turks and Caicos. Let's watch for the green flash. Green flash, steady. Steady, yes! Oh, you're right! I saw it! Yeah, see? That's the first screen flash I've ever seen. It's true! Green so, flash lives! I was a doubter. I know. That was a good one. That was a really good one. It's all in the description. It's not really a flash. Yeah, it's just a little green dot as it goes underneath the horizon yeah. with the ocean there. Well, the ocean's blue, the sun's yeah. yellow. Makes green. Blue, yellow makes green. Makes perfect sense. Makes perfect sense. All right, we need a course change, so should be okay from here, right? Hmm. Yeah, I think so. So advance, you go to uh, navigate, of course. No, it's gonna cut it. I think it might cut it too quick. No, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Okay. Advance waypoint. Cool. Just make Just, it. Just yeah. There we That's go. Speed walk six point one. Oh, it's a bit of a turn there. It's got us going towards the rocks. I hate when autopilot does that. It's got to auto correct. Oh, 6.7 though. 6, 6.8. Nice. There we go. It's coming around now. 6.8 would be nice all the way in. Wouldn't it? Come with that. Get there by 9 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, this should be a good course right there. Castle Island, next waypoint. This is one of the many blessings of cruising. This is the next morning at Danum Bay. Our last stop before Turks and Caicos. And another incredibly 15 feet of water straight down. Gorgeous place. You bet. So awesome. Okay, we're at Southern Bahamas before we head off to Turks and Caicos for our overnight passage and then to Dominican Republic and we're just going to go to shore. We're going to check things out and see what damage the Hurricane Joaquin did to this place. Like there's a, a dike built by the ocean all along the side there.
Anyway, stay tuned. So the hurricane would just clean the ocean floor and just kept pushing, pushing and pushing the rock and the coral, just scoured the ocean floor and pushed it up here and made a breakwater of coral and rocks and shells. Unbelievable, the beach is gone and it replaces this rock breakwater. Everything that was on the ocean floor has been thrown up here because it was a super high tide. They had a full moon and it was a super tide. So the surge from the ocean and the high tide just listed everything with those winds. That's just unbelievable. This is all just coral and sandstone just scraped off of the bottom of the ocean floor. Wow, hurricanes are destructive. It'll never be the same. It's amazing that this one tree survived the hurricane. Lost all the sand that was covering its roots. Hopefully it still survives. Let's see the backside. Oh, neat. Let's see this, this one, one That's an unusual one with all the ruffle edge. Wow. And here's another one that I found. Oh, that's cool. It's a kind of mother of pearl, especially on, right on the back yeah. side. And this one is so orange. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Very cool. Lots of treasures. Uh, this is... <laughs> I wasn't going to bring any shells back to the boat this time. You can't help yourself. They're just... They're calling to me. <laughs> what a I know. Pick me up and take me home. Where are we going, honey? Next stop. Turks and Caicos! Woohoo! New passport stamp! Woohoo! Bye bye Bahamas! Bye bye Bahamas! Alright, put up a sail! Yeah. Morning, sort of. <laughs> it's 5.30 and I'm on my second turn for watch on our first 24 hour crossing. I'm pretty tired, but I managed to get some sleep. Brad's having his sleep now. I did the first watch from uh, 6.30 to 12.30 and then Brad um, is doing, he did 12.30 to 5.30. And now I'm up and we're getting close to our destination. We're only 10 miles away from the entrance to the harbor. Well, not really the harbor, but the channel. So we've tried to slow down a little bit but we're still going five and a half knots with the sails up. So we don't want to get there too early because it's quite shallow all the way in. And it was a pretty decent night, I guess, overall. It's hard to stay awake, though. So I've got to find out what people do because I find it hard to read. And I'm rambling because I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, we'll talk again soon, but we're almost at Turks and Caicos. Yay! Just coming up to sun up. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not, but it's not pitch dark anymore. Another little update. We've got a squall ahead on the right or the left. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> squall ahead on the left. Not too big, I guess. Um, and the sunrise is getting gorgeous, so check it out. just on the horizon. And home! And next time on TRIO, we spend a few days checking out Turks and Caicos, and then our challenging crossing to the Dominican Republic. Hey guys, I'm just turning the quarantine flag for Turks and Caicos. Right, customs. This can't be. Oh yeah, there's immigration. Yes, uh, from a radio, uh, we just got into your country and... We made it! Turks and Caicos!